What's going on, everybody? This is Master Slim of Progressive Taekwondo Academy, and welcome to Tap In Tuesday. Hope you guys are doing well. It's the last Tuesday of the month of January. It's January 31st. Tomorrow is February 1st. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope your uh, first month of the new year of 2023 has been going well. Hope you guys check some, some of those goals off. Hope you guys have some accomplishments that you guys can build on as we progress through 2023. And, and I hope you guys are overall are, are, are doing well and, and putting yourself in a situation where you're feeling good about yourselves and feeling good about what you're doing. And last week, I attended a, a Live to Lead leadership conference and they had a, a panel of speakers and I was drawn to it because one of the speakers was, was E.T. And I like E.T. because he's, he's pretty motivating because he, he really yells at you. Right, and he, he, I, uh, I told the woman that I'm like, sometimes when he talks, I feel like he's really talking to my soul with the way he yells in that aggressive tone. And I need that aggressiveness because, you know, as an athlete, I'm used to being coached and coached hard. And, and, and sometimes your coaches can, can really say some things that hit a nerve that really push you to be great. Like I, I remember sometimes when my coaches say some things and I'm like, Oh, okay. Let me uh, <laughs> let me show you uh, what I'm not. Right, I'm I'm not that. Let me show you what what how how who I really can be. And so I, I like that aggressive language and and that aggressive tone sometimes. And the conference overall was was pretty good. You know, I uh, I received what I I needed to get out of it as far as some motivation, as far as some tips and some things that really helped me, uh, will keep me aligned with my goals for 2023. And at the table, we're sitting at tables, right? And, and when you're at these conferences, you meet different people. And uh, there's some downtime where, you, where you're talking about your, your life, your personal life. And one of the ladies at the table was talking about how she had, uh, had trapped her kid in the car to have a conversation with her, right? And at that time, as soon as I heard that, I had a flashback because that's what my mother used to do to me, right? I used to dread those, those car conversations. And a lot of times for me, they came after a parent-teacher conference or, or they came because I wasn't meeting her expectations or there was something that I wanted, uh, she wanted me to do better that I wasn't doing. And so when she said that, I was like, oh man, is that a tool that all parents use to trap their kids in the car. And then I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, when my kids are in my car, sometimes I just turn the music off and, and I'll slow down and I'll, uh, sometimes I may park and, and really be able to talk to them because they can't move and they're forced to listen, right? And I'm standing in front of our, our banner with the 10 articles of student commitment. And the second article of student commitment is honor your parents. And one way that I honor my parents is by listening to them and always respecting uh, what they have to say and really allowing them to have that moment where they can be a parent, right? And, and do what parents do as far as guiding me, as far as uh, expressing their thoughts, expressing their points of view and, and really respecting them as a parent. And uh, the other day, my dad called me. And sometimes he calls me, we talk business. Sometimes he just calls and, and checks on me. Sometimes he's call, calling me, asking me to send him, send him some stuff. But this time he called me to uh, really get on me as, as a coach, right? And, and, and make sure that I'm doing what I need to do as far as preparing myself for this upcoming competition. And you know, it's, it's a, uh, He's been my coach forever. And I know I've always had different coaches, but he's always been my coach. And, and he's always telling me the same thing, you know, uh, make my punch stronger, right? Uh, get stronger, uh, develop a killer instinct. And, uh, you know, things that, I, that he really wants me to just seek and destroy because he knows I'm capable of it. And, and that's what he wants to see. And, and he asked me, right, the, the conversation was going and it was like, all right, I, like I, I can sort of, I know what uh, he's going to say because he, he says it all the time. 
But then he threw a curveball at me and he asked me what my superpower was. And I thought about it and I'm like on the on the on the mat, like in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I'm I'm old, but I I I can still kick, right? I'm uh I'm focused, I have the ability to lock in and and but I really couldn't pinpoint one thing that was my superpower, right? That that separates me from everybody else. Because when you think about superheroes, you know they all have that one thing that, that makes them different. Flash is faster than everybody, right? Uh Wolverine is gonna heal quicker than everybody and his his claws can go through anything. You know, Professor X has the the, the be able to control people's minds. Uh Superman is, is faster than the speed and bullet, able to, to jump tall buildings in a single bound, right? And so everybody has a superpower that separates them from everybody else. And and I think, you know, I'm not sure what my superpower is on the mat. We'll have to wait and see till I compete and, you know, see what the video says. But as far as a, a teacher, right, as a leader, I think my superpower is my ability to really see everyone else's superpower, right? Recognize the good in everybody else, recognize what's great about everyone else, and really have the patience to, to uh, help them develop their powers even more. And, and so for this Tap In Tuesday, I wanna throw that question out to you guys and have you think about what is your superpower, right? What is it that separates you from everybody else? Whether as an entrepreneur, what's your superpower that separates you, uh, separates you away from your competition, right? As a, as a student, what makes you different from your classmates? And, and will that superpower really allow you to be great, right? I'm still thinking about what my superpower is. I'll give you guys some time to think about what your superpower is. But this is Master Slim of Progressive, uh, Progressive Taekwondo Academy. Peace out and tap in.